Hello, this is James Shipley, Sales Engineer with Jive. In today's video, I want to go over the Data Export Service. The Data Export Service is a cloud-based service that can be accessed via the REST API to query and extract a range of analytics data from your Jive instance. There are two ways to access the Data Export Service. The first way is through the API Explorer web application, which I have on my screen right now. Second is by issuing commands through a REST client, and I'll show both approaches. So to start out with, go to a demo instance, and under your add-ons analytic services, create a new client if one does not already exist. Once you create a new client, it will allow you to generate the client ID and secret, which you'll use to log into the API Explorer. So just copy paste the client ID and secret into the API Explorer login screen. Okay. Once you're logged in, notice you can select your date range, apply activity filters, and preview and download analytics data. So on my instance, I'll go ahead and set my date range for a few weeks worth of data. I'll choose a filter. I like to set mine to actor and my admin's username. And from here, I can go ahead and preview my data in line, as well as I can download one of four types of CSV files. So for a content CSV, it will show me all related items where, act, where the action taken was upon a content item. Open this up in Excel. And this shows me the analytics data that I can take and import into my customer's business intelligence tool for further reporting. The second way to access the data export service is by using a REST client to send API commands directly to the Cloudalytics API server. Uh, this process is a little bit more complicated than using the API Explorer, but I'll go ahead and walk through it anyway. Uh, the, for the first step, you go ahead and take your client ID and client secret uh, from your Jive instance and copy and paste those into a text document. From here, we want to build a curl command that we're going to send to our Cloudalytics service to actually provide us with an authorization key that will allow us to issue API commands. So we'll go ahead and take our client ID and secret and paste these into the curl command that I've provided here, all of which is fully documented in the uh, Jive community. Okay, once we've done so, we'll copy paste our curl command into a command line window. And issuing the curl command will provide us back with an authorization key, which we have here. Go ahead and copy our authorization key into our text document. And then from here, we want to leverage a REST client to send API calls um, to our Cloudalytics service and provide the authorization key value pair as a header field. So I've gone ahead and built out this API call. And I like to use uh, on Chrome, the advanced REST client, which we see here. So I'll go ahead and paste my URL, make sure it's a GET request. I'll add a new header, and the header will be the authorization value that I obtained from my curl command. So I'll go ahead and paste in the name value pair for authorization. And from here, go ahead and send this request. And by default, it's going to return us back a JSON response of the activity 
that I've requested. If I want a CSV, I can go ahead and modify the API call that's been sent out and just plug CSV after the activity line and before the time request. Click send. And here we've got a CSV that I can save as or view in Excel as well. So hopefully this has been helpful. This is all documented on Brewspace and on the Jive community for further reference.